Nursery rhymes have been passed down from generation to generation for centuries. One of the most popular is Incy Wincy Spider, also known as Itsy Bitsy Spider. The image on the screen is that of a spider, which is the central character in this nursery rhyme. The origins of this rhyme are believed to date back to the 18th century in England. Another popular nursery rhyme is, There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. The image on the screen is that of an old woman holding a shoe. This rhyme dates back to the 18th century and is believed to be based on a real woman who lived in a shoe-shaped cottage in England. Hey Diddle Diddle is another well-known nursery rhyme. The image on the screen is that of a dish and a spoon, which are the central characters in this rhyme. This rhyme is believed to have originated in the 16th century and was first published in its modern form in 1765. Mary Had a Little Lamb is a popular nursery rhyme that many of us know by heart. The image on the screen is that of a little lamb, which is the central character in this rhyme. This nursery rhyme was inspired by a real-life event. In 1830, a young girl named Mary Sawyer took her pet lamb to school, and the rest is history. Sing a Song of Sixpence is a nursery rhyme that has been around since the 18th century. The image on the screen is that of a blackbird, which is the central character in this rhyme. The origins of this rhyme are unclear. But there are a few theories about what it might be referring to, including pirates and medieval kings. Thanks for watching Factopia. We hope you enjoyed learning about the surprising origins of some of your favorite nursery rhymes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating facts.